here. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. The first thing that I wanna to go to is our week at a glance. What I do, and remember your week at a glance is found. I'm sorry, a student's texting me, Maddie. Let me see if they're trying to get in. Just, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. All right, so I, the very first thing I recommend is go into your week at a glance. Now, if you have a printer and you want to print this or you just want to save it to your desktop. So I went ahead and put it on my desktop so that I don't have to open a window to look at it. I can just hit it down here on my toolbar. But you're on day nine of 30. And today it's review chapter nine. And that is lesson, I mean, daily assignment, lab, and homework. It's all going to be chapter nine review. Now you may be saying, where do I find that review, right? Well, if you go back into Genzibar and you look at chapter nine and we're on day nine, so you're going to go chapter nine, day nine. Do you see it right there? Yes, it's all going to be numbered. Uh, even if sometimes Genzibar gets them out of numerical order, but I still would just double check your numbers. So what I have today in there is I copied and pasted it for you. Now, you know how to navigate your ebook pretty well. This is found in your ebook. I'm gonna show you that. So if you go to your ebook, it is gonna be unit three. Click on that. We're in chapter nine. So you click chapter nine. And I'm just going to go to the bottom because the review is found at the bottom. So this is the review right here. So I don't even know if you can, you can't really even type it. So I would say, unless you wanted to go look at your information and type it into your review, but I'm actually going to go over it with you. Does that make sense so far? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm going back to our Genzibar which is where we have our review. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to go about it. I think I'm just going to go over one, um, and kind of talk about the answers with you. Will that work? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I, I'm going to go back to this real quick. I want to show you something. If you get stuck on an exercise or something like that, you know, this is our table of contents. Remember, we went to unit three to get to where we wanted to read. But if you scroll down to appendix B and C, do you see what those are? Yes, they're, answer, they're answer keys, right? And if you're having trouble with some things, you're going to be able to click the answer key. Um, I don't mind students doing that, but I do want to caution that is that if that is all you do, when it comes to taking your test, you're not going to know what you need to know. But I wanted you to know that that was there. Okay. So I'm going to go back to coursework now. Okay, so if we're looking at the review, Maddie, how would you like to do this? Would you like to just look at the information and try to answer it? Or would you like me to go over the answers with you? How, how would you like to best do this? Um, either way is fine with me. Um, well, there is an exam tomorrow, but what I want to say for everybody who's starting today, I want you to take the exam, but if your score is not what we like a good score then I am not going to use that score okay so um that made sense right because yeah. you are starting at the back end of a chapter you're just kind of picking up and getting the general information tomorrow there is a test on chapter nine I don't want y'all to worry about that I want you to still take it because it's part of your assignment but if the score is not above an 80, I'm probably not gonna keep the score. 
Okay. So, and when we wrap back around, you'll just retake the test again and you'll have more knowledge of the chapter if that makes any sense. Yeah. So, do you feel like you have a good handle on what you need to do? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, I want to say that I did email you the little little lecture that I did on chapter nine at the beginning of the week so that I emailed it to all of you that if you wanted to watch that. Um, if you decide that you want me to go over the review, I'm perfectly happy to do that. What I will do is I will make a scan of the answers and I'll put it in your email. So that way you have an opportunity to do it yourself. And if you're unable to um, find the answer, you'll have a place to go to get the answer and you can look over that. Okay. Okay, sound good? Yes, and if you have any problem, what do you do? Text get a hold of you. <laughs> get a hold of me. I am available for you. I really am. I know last night I text, okay, I'm leaving at five and I need the night off <laughs> because I have a tendency to leave here take a bath, eat dinner, and get right back on again. My kids yeah. are like, mom, get from out from behind the computer because I'm always thinking, well, do they have a question? Is everything okay? I, I, I don't, because everybody's yeah. so new. Now, a month from now, two months from now, it's not going to feel like that to me, but because everybody's so new, we just got started. I'm just concerned. So, yeah. all right, well, if there's nothing else I can do for you, I'm going to let you go. If you need anything, let me know. Um, sounds like you have a good handle on how to do things. You know that you look at your assignment, but you have to submit your assignments on Genzibar to upload them. There, there's not a place where you can go and it just automatically links. It's a three-step process. Look on Genzibar, go to your ebook, do your assignments, put them back on uh, Genzibar. So that's why I kind of copy and paste because I almost think it's easier to do the exercises when you're looking at Genzibar. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's too, maybe I'm overdoing, but it's just who yeah. I am. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good day. Let me know if you need anything. Bye-bye.